Aerodynamic has done something new with a headphone that's been out for a few years. Let's talk about it. This is the Bayer Dynamic DT900 Pro X, a headphone that released in this new chassis and pad style a few years ago alongside the DT700 Pro X. These two are actually some of the best headphones that Bayer has ever made. The 900 Pro X still suffering a little bit from a classic Bayer treble. What is tinnitus? Bayer Dynamic. All jokes aside, a lot of Bayer Dynamic headphones do have elevated treble. This is one of them, not nearly as much as stuff like the DT880 and 990, but it's still there. What they've done though, is they have replaced this. This is their normal cable you can get that comes with a headphone that has mini XLR on one end. Now they have this. This is a headphone with mini XLR on one end, and USB-C on the other, and that means that inside of this there is a built-in amplifier, a DAC, and some controls in several boxes, including a microphone. So we have our microphone in this little box all the way up here. And then in this box here, we have our media controls, which allows us to play pause, volume up and down, all that. And then all the way down here, another little box with the Type-C connector. One of these somewhere has a DAC and an amp in it. I'm guessing probably this one up here, but honestly, who knows? But this means that you can take it and plug it up to something like this, a Pixel or an iPhone that has a Type-C port or any laptop with a C port, a lot of other devices, which honestly, this is a great idea given how many things have been getting rid of the headphone jack. So you know what? Kudos to Bear Dynamic for adapting. But I was curious, well, given this new change, surely they must have used this as the golden opportunity they have to improve upon their headphone. They could get rid of, say, that treble peak. Maybe they added a little bit of a sub-frequency bass boost to counteract some roll-off. I mean, that would be the logical step, right? To take this little plug, since they will now have access to DSP, and use it to improve their headphone. And there's literally no downside to doing that. And this is where it gets interesting. So I have some measurements here with the original stock cable running into three and a half millimeter and then the new type c cable these are both measured on the brewing care 4128c and they're compensated to diffuse field huh it does change it but not in the way i would have expected there is like two decibels less of treble which sure that's a good thing but there's also less bass not sure why you would want to further decrease the bass because realistically these kind of need more sub bass but hey, you know, there is some kind of change. Not really the kind of change that I was hoping for though. And it kind of perplexes me. So it does bring these headphones a little bit closer to diffuse field, but that's not really the ideal scenario. What would be really great is if Bayer had brought down those treble peaks by say like three decibels, maybe four decibels, and then gave us a bit of a sub bass rise in the frequencies under say a hundred Hertz. That'd have been awesome. That'd have made this a really, really good headphone. I mean, it's already a headphone that's well-built, that's really comfortable, and using something like Sound ID or something like EQ APO, you get something that's pretty great. But I don't understand this specific move. I mean, maybe you made the headphone a little bit less warm, sure. Uh, it will be a little bit less compatible with the sound profiles that people have made using things like Sound ID Reference, which is a studio software designed for calibrating your headphones. But if they had just decreased those treble peaks and added a little bit of a sub bass shelf, then people wouldn't need those sound calibration profiles. They could just plug this thing up and it would sound, well, the way it should to begin with. But here we are. With me being very, very, very confused. Maybe this is something Bayer Dynamic could do with an OTA update, or maybe they're just oblivious to the fact that their treble peaks are generally a problem. Either way, it leaves us in the same spot of wondering why when you have the perfect opportunity to fix your headphones, don't you do it? I'm just not sure. My next thought was, well, maybe this is something that would benefit the DT700 Pro X more, but it wouldn't. So I'm really not sure what Bear was thinking here. I mean, if you enjoy the headphone already, that's fine. It's going to be, you know, a continuation of what you already like, but with a little bit less space and more portability. It's definitely convenient. And if you're on the go, you might not be paying as much attention to something like that. I get it, but why? And if Bear had just tuned this headphone better, they could have something absolutely dominating the market. I really mean that because the build and comfort are just out of this world. But there's always one thing holding a good headphone back 
And even when presented with what I would describe as literally the golden perfect chance to fix it, we end up right back in the same spot. I mean, if this had been done right, if this fixed the frequency response of that headphone, you really could have just plugged this straight into every device, your phone, your laptop, your desktop, anything, and not needed a dedicated DAC amp anymore. Oh, that would've been so good. I mean, the, the simplicity, you just would've been palatable, right? And yet here we are. I mean, I guess there are products out there with more problems, but Bayer, you've been doing this for a long time. Mm. I had higher hopes. Now the 900 Pro X, still a fine headphone. I would still take it over basically every other open back bear that's currently on the market. And who knows, maybe it's possible to update this thing. But as it sits right now, keep using it three and a half millimeter, run it through sound ID reference or EQ APO and fix that trouble. I could sit here all day and speculate on why they didn't make the most obvious change in the world, but I think it would be more wise just to wrap this video up and move on to something else. So, that was a short one. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can have the Discord or the forum both available at the link in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Till next time, guys. Peace.